Welcome guys, so you want to know how to create icons, so you've come to the right place. It, on screen you'll see the URL of an uh, application I created, tinyurl.com slash y7anj8ue, into that into a web browser. This is a simple method. So once you do that you get the, the save open file, uh, save file dialog. So download that file, click it to open, this is the easiest method I've come across to create an icon, so just click the auto extraction, that will extract to your C drive program files on a 32 bit and 64 bit machine. Okay, so that'll be in C drive, program files, icon creator. Then go to the icon create icon inside the program folder. Um, create a shortcut to your desktop if you like. Also pin it to the start menu so you can easily find it later. Okay, that's done. So now I'll just go back and show you my desktop icons. Okay, so here's the icon for icon creator. Let me just quickly move this out of the way and hide the desktop icons okay so I'll run that double click simple in design features are quite good though okay, so I'll just quickly move this back to the center so all you need to do is click the get started in the center of the screen on the left. The original project was made by Punk Labs, which is a website and it's icon uh, con, converticon.com. Okay, so I've incorporated that into an application. Okay, so first off after you select get started, find an image that you want to turn into an icon. Make sure you select JPEG, BMP, or PNG at the bottom. I always only find a few items. Okay, now select all the image size constraints. And click export at the bottom. Now select where you want to save the icon. Give it a name. Okay, so that's done. Now you create an icon out of a um, PNG bitmap or a JPEG. Okay, so I'll just find the icon I've just created just to show you. Okay, there it is there. It's now an icon that can be used on top of program folders or um, applications, whatever you like. Okay, so we'll just do one more. Make sure you select JPEG, BMP or bitmap, uh, bitmap or PNG. Select another image select export now all the constraints should be pre-selected okay select where you want to save it it's good to put all your icons in one folder select export that's done okay okay I'll quickly demonstrate how to use an icon to change the image of a program for, uh, of a folder okay so right click the item you want to change go to customize then go to browse then locate the icon that you've just created or another one you previously created select ok select ok again select apply and then ok and then push f5 to refresh so now we've changed the image of that for our folder okay and if you like transparency which is the little outside a bit around the image to be not shown I'll demonstrate quickly how to do that also. I recommend you download a program called paint.net. It's not a web browser, it's an actual application. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so first off, open up the image that you wish to use to create transparency. Okay, so I'll just quickly locate an image.
Okay, so I've selected an image. As you notice, it's got black around a, a blue window and a little man running. So I'm going to take that and make it transparent by using the, the um, magic wand tool on the left. So I click the um, selectable area that you don't want to be visible anymore. And it will go away if you've got the threshold set to the correct percentage. Okay, so now you've created a, a transparent image. Now we'll quickly turn it into a transparent icon. Okay, so this is what I'm going to um, change the f um, image of. But quickly we'll open up image icon, uh, icon creator again. Click get started, as you remember. Select PNG bitmap or JPEG. Locate the image we've just created transparency for which was there okay so there it is now remember it was a black one we've created transparency now we're turning it in, into an icon select all the image size constraints you can do them by pushing tab and spacebar okay so that's done now save where you want to um, save the icon as an export Okay, so I've exported that now as a transparent icon. Now we'll change that folder location into a folder image, sorry, into a thing. So you click, right click on over the image or um, program or folder, sorry. And then select customize. Select where you've located it by using browse. Select OK, apply, and OK. And press F5 to refresh. Okay, so now I've got a transparent little man running towards a window rather than having a big black background around the man and the window. I hope this helped. I'm Mac Mods, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support my channel. Then rate, like, subscribe and comment.